the One Netbook 1GX1 Pro is a little laptop computer with a 7-inch, 1920x1200-pixel touchscreen display and the design of a gaming laptop. The little computer has a backlit keyboard with support for RGB lighting effects, dual fans with a large and familiar-looking exhaust vent on the back, and an LED light ring that lights up the back. One Netbook designed the One GX1 to work with a set of optional game controllers that can clip onto the sides of the computer so you can hold it in your hands while you play. But the best reason to buy the One GX1 may not be for its gaming chops. It's also one of the only 7-inch computers to feature a QWERTY keyboard, an Intel processor, and optional support for 4G LTE or 5G cellular networks. But there are a few things to keep in mind before pulling out your wallet. The first is that the starting price is for a Wi-Fi only model with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of PCIe NVMe storage. If you want cellular connectivity or more memory storage, you'll have to pay extra. The detachable game controllers also cost extra. The second thing to keep in mind is that while the One GX1 has the design of a gaming laptop, it doesn't exactly have the processing power of one. The processor is powerful enough for most basic computing tasks, but fire up resource-intensive games, and the One GX1 can hit a bit of a brick wall. The system has no problem running lightweight games such as Pikunaku, Celeste, or Night in the Woods. Some 3D games like Amnesia, The Dark Descent can also run at close to 60 frames per second. However, when playing an older game, such as 2015's Assassin's Creed Syndicate, the game could only run at around 5 to 7 frames per second, at the lowest graphic settings and with the screen resolution set to 1280 by 720 pixels. The same game could run at between 20 and 30 frames per second on the GPD Win Max Portable Gaming PC, which has a 25W Intel Core i5-1035G7 processor. The detachable game controllers are designed to clip into grooves on the bottom of the laptop. Just click the controller into place, then slide upward and it will be held in place firmly enough to let you hold the PC in the air by gripping just the two controllers. Although you may detect a bit of wobbliness unless you place your hands on your lap or a flat surface like a table to prevent shaking. The touchscreen is handy because the optical touch sensor below the keyboard is rather annoying to use. It's in the spot where you typically find a trackpad on a larger laptop. But since there's no room for a touchpad, you get a little square that you can drag your finger across instead. There are left and right buttons to the sides. But it's really easier to use the touchscreen most of the time, or to connect an external mouse or other pointing device. The keyboard is a bit of a mixed bag. As is often the case on many laptops, there's just not enough room for a full-sized, standard keyboard layout. So one netbook made some compromises. Some keys are smaller than others. And some characters aren't where you'd normally expect to find them. One netbook did manage to avoid some of the problematic key placements I've seen on other mini notebooks. While many other notebooks with 9-inch or smaller screens have a tab key above the Q key, and AQ that's all the way on the left edge of Tee keyboard, the One GX1 puts the tab above the Q, where it should be. I wouldn't say typing on the One GX1 is fun. The keys are smaller and closer together than they would be on most larger laptops. And the keyboard is a little on the squishy side, pressed down firmly, and the entire keyboard sort of sinks a bit. The keyboard is backlit and features support for RGB lighting effects. All of which is further evidence that this is very much a laptop designed for gamers, even though it doesn't really have the processing power of a machine that you'd normally use for playing bleeding edge games. Speaking of games, as I mentioned earlier, I've had a look at a few, but I haven't played any games for more than a few minutes. I can already tell you that if you want to play games that require a high performance GPU, looking for another gaming laptop. However, many casual games with simpler 2D or 3D graphics run very well, which makes it a decent choice for portable gaming if you're more into indie titles than AAA games. I'm not ready to judge the One GX1 Pro completely yet, but it is an unusual little device that has the look and feel of a compact gaming computer, but the performance of a conventional laptop, not to say a terrible one.
but it's also one of the only devices in this category with support for cellular networks, a feature I know some potential customers have been waiting for. So, for gaming, it's best not to waste so much of your time.